The UN Secretary General, who, like my guest, Mr. Stephen Pound, is a socialist, has today urged developed nations such as the United Kingdom to move their targets for net zero to 2040, 10 years earlier than agreed. A new report by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, known to its friends as the IPCC, has suggested that the world has the money and the means to tackle climate change, but it's working at a snail's pace. The report states that public and private financial flows in fossil fuels still exceed those for clean energy. But it's just emerged that our Chancellor, Mr Hunt, has decided to spend £20 billion of your money into carbon capture, one of our ways to meet net zero. Can we really afford to be promising even more money to meet the new 2040 target? Well, I'm delighted to be joined by the leader of the Climate Party, Ed Gamel. Um, Ed, well, first of all, thank you very much for joining me this evening. Uh, and to put Pleasure your to view, you. you think the UN is right and that we must go to 2040. But I suppose the question is, can we afford it and have we got the technology yet? OK, I think there's a, a bit of a double question there. Let's take the, the second one before we go back to the first one. Um, can we afford not to do it? The entire planet is going there. Everybody set targets. All of the countries are trying to get there already. And now we've seen that the UA is trying, UN is asking us to pull forward those targets. That is where we're all going. This is the biggest commercial opportunity on the planet, Jacob. We've got to be at the front driving it. We have to be Britain at the front driving the decarbonisation revolution, not at the back. And then we'll see prosperity coming to us rather than to other countries of the world that get on and do the work. But this isn't what's happening so far. If you look at our steel industry, we've been pricing it out of the market by having much higher energy prices than other countries, then importing from other countries, increasing the carbon footprint of the goods we're using because of the imports. So that's really the point. Can we afford it with the economy that we've got uh, to get to net zero by 2040? I think we certainly can. And I think that let's take it a step further. I mean, if we want to lead the pack, the whole point of this is to get at the front of the pack, get the economy working for us, put the city on the front foot. It's been losing out through a lot of things that have been happening both in America and the European Union. Um, the city is on the back foot at the moment. Let's put it at the front of, of climate financing. Let's bring our own target forward, take first mover advantage to go 2030. So let's not go 2040, stay with the pack, compete with them on everything. Let's get at the front. That's what Britain does well. We lead from the front, we get there, and then we will do all of the innovation, both in the engineering and ecotech spheres, and in cement, and in steel, and we'll make the investment. Private enterprise will get in there and make the investment, and the city is going to be looking forward to financing it. But aren't there two issues there? One is, is the technology ready? Can it be rolled out that things like um, uh, ground heat sources, uh, we'd have to install them at such a rate to get even close to the targets that we've got already? 2040, only 17 years away, 2030, only seven years. Are we ready technologically to do it in such a short time span? Well, we are. I mean, all of the experts keep telling us that all the technology is there. The IPCC has again repeated it, actually, in this report and said that all the technologies are out there. We need to get the political will and we need to get the finance firepower behind it to make it happen. Look, going back to World War II, when we had to do it, ships that were taking us maybe a couple of years to build before we got into World War II, we were building in around 40 days in the middle of the war. Look at what we did on COVID when we had to do it. We then get on with it. We may make mistakes as we go along, but we get on with it and we do the best we can and then we can lead. And that's what we've got to do now. We don't want to wait, drag our heels, be behind Germany, pay the Chinese for our solar panels. Let's get on and do it here. Let's have us as the entire leaders of this, not the laggards. Well, thank you, Ed. And that's a very rosy scenario. I think you're more of an optimist than I am. But thank you very much for joining me this evening.